All right, breaking at this hour, all new at two, President Biden on the ground in Ireland as motorcade making his way through the streets there after a stunning security breach during the president's trip to Ireland. Yeah, sensitive security information with details of President Biden's travels reportedly going missing, then later showing up tossed in the street. So who found those documents and who exactly dropped the ball here? Thank you all very much. And I'm not going home. I'm staying here. This, and this is an incredible place. All you American reporters. Looks just like the White House, right? My heart. There's nothing our nations can't achieve if we do it together. I really mean it. So thank you all. God bless you all. Let's go. Let's go lick, lick the world. Let's get it done. Yeah. Um, listen, just to close the book on Ireland, since we just got back, it was a highly personal trip. There were a lot of cousins there. Did Valerie <laughs> and Hunter Biden, they flew on Air Force One, did they contribute? Did they pay for airfare, accommodations, ground transportation? What? I think, Look, we took, they? we, this is not the first time. Uh, let's be very, very clear. It is consistent with other presidents when they've had family travel uh, with them abroad. This is nothing new. So just want to make sure that we make that very clear to the American people. Mm -hmm. And of course, we followed every protocol that any other president or every other president has taken when they when their family has traveled. And so, yes. All right. Now, I'm gonna go. Um, yeah. So we, we, we took every protocol that is necessary and needed when a family travel. We did nothing different. Uh, than past presidents, uh, and so yes, they paid. They paid for their way. To share. Yeah, yeah. Like every other. This is this is not unusual. This is not the first time that families have traveled uh, with presidents. So there's 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 nothing. There's no there. All right, guys. So as some of you may or may not know, Biden uh, has been out of the country. Okay, uh, he actually just got back from Ireland, where he made a royal embarrassment of <laughs> our country once again. Because the guy is truly just out of his mind, okay? Uh, he has no clue what is going on. Uh, he's losing secret documents. He's talking about licking the world, right? He says he wants to stay there. And I wish that uh, he was actually serious about that. Maybe he is. Um, and I, I hope that he can stay there. They can have him. And then we can have a new president. Maybe redo election or something like that. But the uh, affirmative action press secretary doing Biden's trip to Ireland was asked a question by the mainstream liberal media a mainstream liberal media reporter who basically exploded on her for the lack of transparency coming from the biden administration okay uh in regards to questions okay biden taking questions biden has not been doing many press conferences at all now remember under the trump administration guys uh kaylee mcenany was amazing and some of his other former uh press secretaries as well too they were pretty good but trump himself would actually talk to the media a lot okay he would just take random questions uh from the media and try his best to answer them off the top of his head again the level of transparency that we got from the trump administration in regards to the president's access to the media or the media's access to the president uh was actually breath of fresh air okay and the mainstream liberal media themselves they loved it loved it so much that doing this guy going off on cringe john pierre uh for the lack of transparency in his administration in regards to biden answering questions he mentioned that you know trump used to take questions from us all the time take a look question has to do with the lack of a press conference during the president's upcoming trip mm -hmm. and the lack of press conference that we see in general from this white house I represent a news organization that owns 113 television stations, and a question that I'm often asked, and I don't know the answer to, so I'll ask you that question. Uh, is the administration trying to protect the president from our questions? Uh, please, I answer Absolutely that question. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So why is the lack of any interaction in a formal setting to have a press conference? Uh, I mean, the president takes shouted questions i i understand john i understand i understand i have dealt with this question about three times already i understand it is it is it is uh the job of you all to ask this question to me totally get that and that's not a problem at all um but certainly uh the president many times has has stand has stood in front of all of you has taken questions uh, on his own because he wanted uh, to see what was all on your minds. He wanted to see what the questions you all were going to ask him, and he wanted to answer them directly. That has happened multiple times, many times, uh, during this administration, and that will certainly continue uh, to be. When it comes to a formal press conference, I don't have anything to share with you at this time. Uh, just one last thing. Yeah, just sure. To button up. You recognize that as it relates to prior administrations, uh, the president's predecessor, 
uh, President yeah. Obama, President George W. Bush. Uh, I've been here long enough to have covered President Bill Clinton. This is not the norm. The norm is we do get an opportunity to ask the questions to the president about domestic and foreign policy issues in a formal setting at some point. Uh, and you choose that point, but we haven't had that opportunity in quite some time. So I'll say this. It is also unprecedented that a president takes as many shouted questions as this president has. And he no, has. No, 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 no. I, I know the last okay. administration, I'll tell you, almost every day on this okay. open Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's just funny how Corinne Jean-Pierre tries to word salad her way through literally all of these press conferences. I'm pretty sure that Kamala Harris is her mentor, right? <laughs> she has to be her mentor because uh, nobody does word salad better uh then Kamala Harris uh other than Corinne Jean-Pierre okay they're, they're both up there right in terms of the word salad queens but uh Corinne Jean-Pierre tries to defend Biden's lack of transparency lack of taking questions by saying well he takes shouted questions right shouted questions aka uh Biden may stop and give some dribble, right? While the press is, uh, you know, shouting questions at him. And, and for whatever reason, she counts this as a form of transparency. Must it be a reconciliation? What must be what? A pathway for citizenship. There needs to be a pathway for citizenship. Whether it can be an immigration remains to be seen. What is the yeah, so that's a part of one of the informal uh, question sessions that the Biden administration has been doing so much of, okay? Uh, that he he's, you know, historically taking more informal questions. Where his answer is, my butt's been wiped, and we really don't have an answer for you <laughs> in regards to what we actually want to do. Which, I mean, again, you know, Crin Jean-Pierre, uh, no surprises that this is what they're counting as taking informal questions or having an informal session with the media because even in formal sessions, as press secretary, the affirmative action press secretary, uh, she gives nothing, right? She gives nothing in regards to answers to the press and their questions. And these questions are softball questions because the press is on their team, right? The press is liberal. They won't even say Trump's name. Okay, that reporter, that guy wouldn't even say Trump's name. He'd say Bush's name. He'd say Obama's name. He'd say Clinton's name. He won't even say Trump's name. That's how much TDS the liberal media has. But despite the TDS, they still can come out here and say, well, you guys are terrible when it comes to transparency. You don't answer no questions. Biden don't answer no questions. The only person that answers questions is the straight white male, John Kirby, <laughs> right? Who should have had the job, okay? He should have been the, the, the press secretary if they was actually doing it based off merit and qualifications. Again, this administration is an embarrassment. You know it's embarrassing when the liberal press who's on their side... <laughs> is openly saying out loud that, well, we kind of like the Trump administration better when it came to answering questions than you guys. And behind the scenes, th this is what they're saying. They're saying that this woman is a disaster, that Corinne Jean-Pierre is an absolute disaster. Probably one of the worst secretaries <laughs> that we've had in history. The worst. But again, allegedly she has a vagina, right? Allegedly she likes to sleep with women, okay? Um, and she's, you know, black too, allegedly. So therefore, uh, you know, the Biden administration thought she was qualified for the job and she uh, gets a mulligan on this, right? She's not expected to perform uh, to the same level as, as her peers because <laughs> she's oppressed. Ain't that how it's supposed to go? And any criticism of her is racist and sexist and, and, and bigoted and homophobic in this case as well, too, because, again, she likes to sleep with people of the same sex. Absolute embarrassment uh, that this administration is. Um, and it's just funny to me, it's ironic to me that the press is complaining behind closed doors and to her face sometimes uh, about the lack of transparency and the fact that she doesn't <laughs> answer any questions. When, again, they paved the way for this to be okay, right? They were totally fine with the Biden administration not answering any questions or anything like that when they first got into office, when they were trying to protect the Biden administration at all costs. They were totally fine with a lack of transparency. But now all of a sudden they can't protect them anymore. They want to actually ask some real questions. They want to actually get some access to the administration. They want to boohoo why and, and complain about it. Funny how that works. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.